Hello, Scorpio. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a reading for your Scorpio placement for the rest of March or tomorrow. I don't know. It could have been yesterday. All right. So we're using the transformation deck and oh, hello. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me first tell you what happened. I did your video. It was absolutely amazing. And it was about the new path and that a new path was emerging before you and you were taking it. Okay. Somehow I uploaded the wrong video and I did Virgo. I uploaded Virgos instead of yours and put your name on it. Now you might have Virgo on your chart. You might be dealing with a Virgo, but watch the Virgo just in case. So I am redoing your video. Now, I believe it was the last live that I did. I think it was Sunday's live where I told you to be very careful with your paperwork to make sure you read and understand everything before you sign anything. I am reiterating that. Okay. So your card out <coughs> this time is liberation liberation this is um your biggest transformation for the rest of the month i believe all right let's this is a new deck i'm going to read from here <coughs> excuse me okay break the chains of old patterns that have held you back break free from bondage the old limitations of self-esteem, confidence, or optimism that have held you back. We can only stay limited for so long. At some point, we break out to a new level of freedom and scope. Our horizons open, restrictions fall away, and we are suddenly light with liberation. It doesn't happen by magic. We have to do our part. Without effort, we remain trapped in a prison of limitations. We must make important changes, reach for something better, and trust it can be ours. Perhaps you've become discouraged. Failures and problems pile up on each other. Health problems, I have no idea what that word is, plague you, basically, or limited circumstances hold you back from manifesting what you know is possible affirm to yourself i am strong and successful the universe is bountiful all that i need flows to me easily now from all directions try it say it out loud then catch your next round of negative self-talk and replace it with affirmations liberation comes from revolution and moves from the inside out don't let doubt win. Fight back and break out to freedom. So you are definitely not continuing a cycle. All right. You are putting an end to a vicious cycle that was holding you back. It was something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Death with the nine of pentacles. Holy moly. Oh, my God. And that's Scorpio and Virgo. Okay definitely watch the Virgo, even if you don't have a placement or you're not dealing with one. I'm telling you, I think that that's for you as well. Too many Virgo uh, coincidences here. Okay, so you are changing how you are doing things for freedom. Much more freedom and liberation and independence. Can we get some cards on this liberation, please, for Scorpio? Some cards on liberation. Chariot, judgment, you may be moving... Judgment on the Five of Cups, letting go of sorrow and pain, letting go of what is not supposed to be in your life at this time, because you have more things to, to go and do and accomplish, but it is your call to release. If you notice on the Five of Cups, he's got that castle behind him. He's also got two cups standing there. He hasn't lost everything, but at the moment he may feel like he has. Judgment. This is your free will. This is up to you. It's up to you to release the past, things that didn't work out, let go of the cycles. Tower, 
with the lovers. You've got a choice to make that you don't see coming. Star card, a wish to heal something you thought was once over. Strength, five of pentacles. Oh, crap. This just got complicated. You have a tower moment coming that leaves you with a choice to heal a situation you thought was over. Strength, magician, eight of swords. It might put you in your head. All right. Since this is ending cycles, listen closely, Scorpio. Since this is ending cycles, this liberation card is ending the cycles. This tower card could very easily be this cycle coming back again. All right. I didn't think this, that was a, that's a shocker. Okay. Didn't see that coming. So whatever cycle this is that you've been replaying over and over again, and you thought it was done and over with, and it just leaves you in this five of pentacles, feeling like you're out in the cold, you're being given the opportunity to break it. You're being given the opportunity to liberate yourself from it. Okay. So instead of getting in your head, think to yourself, is this a cycle? Is this a cycle that I can break now? Am I free to break this? And the choice is yours. That's what they're saying. The choice is absolutely up to you. Do you continue doing this, banging your head up against the wall, seeing if maybe you're going to get a different result? Or do you let yourself set yourself free from it? So let's pull some cards to get some. Well, we don't really need to because that was everything, right? But let's see if there's another message in here. Let's see if there's another message in here on the liberation. Six of Wands and the Hermit card, Virgo again. <laughs> okay, um, so you're going to have go within to find your answers, and you will have victory. You already know the answer as to whether or not you should try a cycle again. Again. All right. High Priestess and Tower, really? You see how I separate my cards when I put them back in the deck. They do not go back together. Tower, death, that's you. This is your energy as well. Queen of Wands. Taking a hold of yourself. Getting a hold of yourself. Changing how you do things. Because this is death and transformation, right? Death and rebirth. And passionately going after what you want. Making a choice for your future because you've already learned so much. You understand what you can and cannot, what will and will not give you reciprocation with whatever this is. For a lot of you, this is going to be work. For a lot of you, this is going to be work. But then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. Do you try again? This could be work or family. Because this is the family card. You have the strength for self-love. And take the action that you want to your true happiness. And now we have a move because we have the Ten of Pentacles and Cups together. This is also the family card. All right. This is Scorpio. You're complicating things on me here. Whatever this is for you, love, you have the opportunity to break the cycle and move forward. And you know this. All right. I always stop when I get the tower card and look what's behind it. Yeah, I know I didn't separate them that time. I always stop and look behind the tower card to see what's behind it because that tells me what's going on. The moon and knight of pentacles. It's time to come up with a plan. It's time to come up with a plan. It's time for you to continue on your path, but you need a plan. You know this though. Full card, leap of faith, devil with the star is your wish to go back to a toxic environment toxic job i don't know what's the devil card wheel fortune nine of swords okay so being all up in your head over this is decision that you have to make is not going to help star card healing 
Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. You need to strategize. Healing and checking in on yourself. You have what it takes to be able to move forward, but you're going to have to stop looking backwards. Okay? All right. Still haven't gotten your four cards out. Scorpio, for liberation, please. We might get a different story out. Let's see. Scorpio, for liberation. Thank you. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Where are you coming from? You're coming from the Page of Swords. You've been gathering a lot of information. You've been learning a lot. You're listening to your intuition. You have learned a lot. This is the card of learning. This is the card of gaining knowledge. This is the card of learning. You're learning a lot. It's putting you in your head. Okay? But you being stuck in your head instead of making a decision and moving forward is causing you some major, major blockage. Major blockage. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I can go forward with this, but it's going to be such a burden and, I, and it's just making me even more defensive told you it's just making you more defensive the more you stay in your head the more toxic it becomes it's time to make a decision and stop repeating cycles nine of pentacles four of swords ten of pentacles eight of pentacles are you worried about losing money and here you are with the freaking tower again and temperance page of pentacles and the world Scorpio. These are supposed to be quick. Nine of Pentacles, independent. Four of Swords, taking stock of everything that you have, being grateful for everything that you have. Ten of Pentacles, happy home, happy family. Eight of Pentacles, putting the work in. Death, rebirth, changing how you do things. Tower, the removal of things that were not balanced or sustainable. Temperance, alchemization healing getting ready for something new oh page of pentacles stepping out into the new and the world stepping out into the new okay so you have a new path before you but it is up to you to remove the cycle it is up to you to liberate yourself from some cycle okay loves I wish I had that other reading because once you do this, once you get out of whatever cycle this is, um, this might be work because I know, I know for a fact, a Scorpio that keeps getting sucked back in to work. She keeps trying to quit and they keep bringing her back and they keep bringing her back in. And she's like, I can't keep doing this. I've moved halfway across the country and I've given you my resignation four freaking times. It's up to you to break the cycle. Are you going to keep getting talked back into things that you that you know are not good? That the longer you continue with this situation, that you keep trying again, it just keeps getting more toxic. Once you do that, then the other reading is going to be for you. If that is where you're already at, then you have the most amazing new path coming up because you are making these challenges. Okay, guys, you have a great day. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.